Hey, Ben Kaiser here, helping you dominate your field. And today we're talking about Mac versus Windows for graphic designers. And I used to think forever that Mac was the king of all design tools. That was until I walked through the doors. All right, so today we're gonna answer the question, Mac versus PC, what is better? And we're gonna jump into why the perceived value of Mac is considered better by the design community. First of all, it really has to do with how the operating system works and the components that are within the computer. So the way Mac is set up is you have all these components that are produced for the computer specifically. And the people who produce the components have strict regulations from Apple in order for them to correlate and work together well. So whenever you experience updates on a Mac, they are cataloged updates that update in a specific way because they are from one specific programming vendor. Let me explain that a little bit easier. So one person gets the computer, programs it, and that's the way it works. What does Windows do? Windows is more of an open platform. So all these different companies are making various components and software for the Windows product. Let's say that you have five guys standing around the computer as to the one guy. So five people are all creating products and softwares and putting them in the computer. And then they go back and they say, wow, I missed that. I need to update that. So the one guy sends his update and it adds that to the list of updates in the computer. And then the other guy sends his update and it adds that update to the list. And before you know it, you have all these different updates and the list gets very long. And what does that do? It begins to slow down the computer. Where with the Mac, you don't experience that as much because it's one person, technically one person, programming the computer and keeping the updates very condensed. So you experience a slower computer after over time because many people are putting updates towards that computer. This can all be solved very quickly by backing up all your content, doing a fresh install, and going down the road. But in today's economy, we don't want to take the time to manage our products. We want to just be able to click, 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 keep going down the road for 10 years straight. And that's what people like about Mac products. But you lose out on the customization that is very important when you're in the creative field. For me, I have recently gotten more into video editing. So I found that my MacBook Pro is very laggy and very slow because I cannot go in and update the graphics card. I cannot go in and update the RAM past a certain point. Where on the tower here at my job, where I work as a director of graphic design, I can go in here and if I wanted to, I could upgrade the graphics card, I could max out the RAM and, and memory, and it would give me a way faster machine. So that's what you run into as a graphic designer using a Mac product. They want you to order it and use it how it's been put together. Whereas Apple is far more customizable and you'll find a lot of the high-end video production people using Windows products because the customization is incredible. Another reason I think there is a vast amount of confusion is because there is so much inventory when it comes to Windows versus Mac. When you show up at the Apple store, you walk in and there's basically three models. The MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, and the MacBook, speaking laptops specifically. Walk into a Best Buy and you'll be a hundred different options for a Windows operating system. And a lot of times there isn't somebody staying there to explain to you why this is a $400 computer, why this is a $600 computer, and why this is a $2,000 computer. So you walk over to the Mac section and it's one, two, three, and you just pick it up and it's a safe bet. You walk away and you have a Good computer. Mac products are amazing. You got one right here. It works very well. It's been bulletproof. It's 2010. It's eight years old and I'm still cruising away on it. So it's the simplicity that Mac thrives on. You see, for me, I always thought Windows products were just garbage. I mean, to being totally honest, I remember my dad used to buy a new Windows every two to three years for about $400. And when I bought my Mac, it was about $1,000 starting off. And that initial thought really got me rolling into the idea of am I really comparing apples to apples or is it apples to oranges? And this is what you really need to consider. You know the average cost of a Windows computer is $400 to $600 where the average cost of a MacBook or MacBook Air, MacBook Pro is about $1,000 to $1,600. But the thing is the average cost they tailor themselves to a lower end market. Mac only wants the high end market. 
but there's plenty of Windows computers that are high-end, they're comparable. So why did I consider my computer better than my dad's computer when I had no real reasonable comparison? I had a lack of knowledge and expertise that all changed when I walked into my first job on the field as a graphic designer. But over the next few months as I began to work with this Windows operating system and I began to work with this machine that had a lot of power, I quickly realized that all along it wasn't the Mac computer that was making me a great designer. In fact, the Adobe software is extremely universal between Windows and Macintosh. So what is the thing? What is the issue? Why was I so hung up on halving design behind a Mac computer? So over the next few months as I began to work behind that T3600 Dell, I realized it was actually more powerful than my MacBook Pro. Just as efficient, and I designed it just as well, if not better because I was gaining way more experience in a professional field. This is probably the greatest reason that new designers think they have to design on Mac. And it's the famous commercials, I'm a Mac and I'm a PC. Who wants to be the nerdy guy? Who wants to be the guy with the glasses and is always like <sighs> sleeping in the ads? Not me. I want to be the cool kid. And for years, that's what I thought. I thought, cool kid, Mac, I can design. And there's a lot of image that we put on owning a Mac. If we go out to a client and we pull out a Windows, like really think about it, I almost get nervous about that. I almost, when, I, when I've considered buying a Windows and I think about that. And that's so much advertising behind that that the whole computer we hold means that we're a good designer or a bad designer, and that's so false. Make great design no matter what computer you sit behind. That's the answer, that is the answer. Don't allow the advertising to dictate what it means to be a designer, that's crazy, but I've done it. And this is the kicker, by far. Did you know that in this day and age, and when computers are produced right now, the internals of a MacBook Pro and the internals of many Dell, like the XPS 15, which is a very comparable model, are nearly the same interiors. Better yet, you know the reason the new iPhone X is so expensive? is because Samsung produces that screen and sells it to them at a very high cost. So the reason that your iPhone 10, if you have one, is so expensive is not because it's, you know, insanely innovative. It's because that Samsung is holding the patent on that screen. So that means that you're holding partially a Samsung product. Pretty interesting. So think about that. The interiors of a Mac Pro, interiors of Dell XPS, very similar. So we are paying for aesthetics, which if you like that, great. Keep at it. Go. Be a Mac person. I'm still a Mac person right now. But don't stop to consider what you are buying. Really do some research and dig in to the differences in the computers. I have some links below for you to check out the Dell XPS 15, which is incredibly comparable to the MacBook Pro 15, which I use. I personally am considering the Dell XPS 15 just because uh, customization, uh, cost, uh, and just to honestly break out of the mold. <laughs> um, I just really want to try something new. So don't just buy in stigma, get educated, dominate your field. Uh, please hit the like button, share this video if it has helped you at all. Subscribe to this channel. We're going to help you become the best designer, uh, programmer, or creative possible. Uh, thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you here on the next episode.